Welcome back to America in Black. I'm BET special correspondent Mark Lamont Hill. With seven NAACP Image Awards, an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and four Emmy Awards to her credit, Regina King has definitely solidified her place as one of Hollywood's biggest stars. We recently caught up with King to discuss her latest starring role as Shirley Chisholm, a story she says has been nearly 15 years in the making. I'm paving the road for a lot of other people looking like me to get elected. Brooklyn's first black representative. All you got is your one vote. You sound just like every other politician. Do I look like every other politician? Regina King is both the star and producer of the latest Netflix biopic, Shirley. Hey, everybody. For almost 40 years, Regina King has graced the small and big screen. Then why you with me, huh? Playing relatable characters that resonate globally. Ain't none of us got nothing to do with that. Named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World, King has an award-winning resume that speaks for itself, both in front of and behind the camera. Now leading the production company, Royal Ties, alongside her sister, Raina, King continues to bring undertold stories to life. So I have to ask you, why this movie? Why Shirley? Why not? When we decided to come together and start a production company, we were trying to think of what meaningful stories would we tell. And we both thought about the fact that so many people that we know Black people included, did not know who Shirley Chisholm was, didn't even know her name. Wow. I know, wow. So I realize that this is a rough road. Shirley Chisholm is a legend in American politics, often referred to as Fighting Shirley. All of us may have come to this nation in different ships, but right now we're all in the same boat. God bless you. Chisholm was a community organizer who organically gained support to become a member of the New York State Assembly. And in 1968, Chisholm made history by becoming the first African-American woman to be elected to Congress. Just four years after being elected, Chisholm made history again. I stand before you today as a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States of America. When you think about Shirley Chisholm's career, in, in this film in particular, you could focus on lots of things, but you focused on the presidential run. Why was that the story you wanted to tell? Well, first of all, there would be no Barack Obama. There would be no Hillary Clinton. There would be no list goes on and on and on if there was not a Shirley Chisholm first. Her campaign focus, unbought and unbossed, set a new standard for politicians at the time and continues to influence many independent and liberal campaigns today. I feel like for those people that knew need to be reminded and for those people that didn't know need to understand the possibility, the power that you do have within yourself. Since Chisholm's historic election, 56 black women have served in Congress across 23 states. One of those women moved on to further shatter the glass ceiling now serving as the first woman in the office of Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. Today's Congress has the most African-American women elected in one session, including Representative Barbara Lee, now serving her 13th term, who was mentored by Chisholm and served on her presidential campaign. You have to be part of the process. The process doesn't exist in politics for black women. You're different. I saw what needed to be done, and I did it. That's not different. That's necessary. You've played a million characters, all amazing, but this is a historical figure, a legend. And you're introducing, <laughs> you know, this legend to the audiences all around the world. Does that create a different kind of pressure for you? It does, because you just want, you want to honor, you know, her legacy. This was the most challenging, the most research that I've ever had to do for a, a role that I'm playing in my life. Shirley Chisholm is one of the most unique individuals I've ever studied. While she has Bayesian roots, she's from Brooklyn. She's also highly intellectual. She's a teacher. She was approachable. She yeah. was relatable. She felt with the people, and because she, she was with the people, you know? Do you see a lot of yourself in Shirley Chisholm or, or Shirley Chisholm in you? Hmm. You just described a whole lot of you. Oh, really? Yes! Okay. You know, you almost have to have an irrational amount of confidence 
to think that you can do the things that you've done and that other people do that that's extraordinary. You've had a career where you've got, I mean, Emmys, Oscars. I mean, did you see that for yourself? I can't say that I saw it, but I can't say that I didn't see it. You know, I think that I really enjoy what I do. Um, I am an artist uh, through and through. I think just having a mother that's always allowed my sister and I to like dream and be without limitations, I can't say that those things weren't possible. As a multi-hyphenate creator, King transcends any limits that the industry might try to place on her. How do you navigate the world that really doesn't want y'all doing all that stuff? I kind of feel like that's their problem, not mine. You yeah. know, I see how in life we are not appreciated for doing the same thing as anyone else. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking about specifically black women, but I also see the way we love each other, black women, and lift each other up is like no one else. And that's a really special thing. I wouldn't want to be anything else other than, you know, a black woman. I feel lifted and supported all the time. I mean, I've gone through the most challenging thing ever in life and so many people that I have not spoken to, but I swear I feel their shoulders, you know, yeah. as I'm going through it. You know, just so much I get and receive all of my life in just a hug from another black woman. The exchange that we have. So I lean into that. My day-to-day my -day walk always occupies that space. Having lived more life and embodying Shirley, King has a few hopes for the film now that it's finally in the world. I just want hopefully inspire some young people to want to get involved, to want to run for city council, that wants to 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 want to run in those spaces that are uh, politicians that are making uh, decisions that really do affect us. Like the presidential election is important, but you know your mayor, your governor, your council members, your congress. Uh, people. Yeah. Hopefully we can inspire some young people to want to get involved, be active, I hope.